the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 334 2 Corinthians 10-13 Paul's Spiritual Experience Paul boasted that God worked through his weakness and encouraged the Corinthian church members to establish God's church as the body of Christ. First point, the misunderstanding of the Corinthian church regarding Paul's apostleship began due to Paul's humble attitude. From 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul began to declare and testify his apostleship in full force. The Galatians church had a debate about Paul's apostleship in terms of traditions. And the Corinthians church had a problem with the way in which Paul carried out his ministry. Against these opinions, Paul replied and defended his apostleship. To the Corinthian church members who criticized Paul for not being more charismatic, Paul replied that he was trying to serve them with humility and that he planned on continuing to do so. Paul added that he hoped they would stop judging him or others merely on appearance. Paul declared that he wanted to use the apostleship given by God to show humility and meekness to the church. Paul then revealed the foolishness of those who misunderstood his apostleship and of the things they boasted about. Paul taught them that the only thing to boast about was Jesus Christ. Here, Paul reported to Jeremiah. Paul wrote that his apostleship did not depend on their praise, but on God's praise. Second point, Paul confessed his hardships until now as an apostle in order to prove that he was an apostle. Paul proved his apostleship to the Corinthian church and then compared his ministry to those of the false apostles. Paul moreover rebuked the Corinthian church for so easily accepting other gospels. Most unfortunately, some of the members of the Corinthian church misunderstood Paul's self-funded ministry. To this, Paul explained that in order to serve them, he voluntarily humbled himself before them and made his own living himself. Paul very clearly explained that he was trying to level himself with them so that they would understand. Paul furthermore detailed the hardship he had to endure as an apostle. Paul first explained how he was a Jew by blood and tradition. Second, Paul outlined the dangers and hardships he endured. Third, he explained the worries and concerns he had for the church. Fourth, Paul confessed his weaknesses and the stress that God helped him to overcome them. As such, Paul came across many people who accused him that he was not a real apostle, a liar, and so on. To this, Paul defended his apostleship and boasted how God had even used his weakness. Third point, Paul explained his spiritual experience in order to prove his apostleship. In order to further prove his apostleship to the Corinthians church, Paul told them of his spiritual experiences as well as how he had seen heaven. However, he did not include specific details. This was because he believed that this would not produce positive outcomes. He furthermore believed that such postings were unnecessary. What Paul truly wished to reveal was his weakness and how in such moments God revealed his strength. Paul stressed that the reason God enabled Paul to have spiritual experiences was not so that 
Paul could boast, but so that God could reveal his glory. Paul also added that God gave him physical defects so that he did not become arrogant. To conclude his defense against those who questioned his apostleship, Paul said the following. The first was that he thought it was foolish that he had to boast of his apostles. The second was despite how he thought it was foolish, he nevertheless had to do so in order for them to understand that he was indeed an apostle. The third was that he did not receive their help like other apostles, but if they found this unfair, then he hoped that they would forgive him. First point, Paul told his plans to visit Corinth for the third time. Paul wrote that he wished to visit Corinth for the third time, with the heart of a parent visiting his children. Paul also rebuked them for their misunderstanding about him. Paul wrote that he was going to find those who tried to frame him for smuggling financial aids and come clear about what he and his members were trying to do with the funds. Paul added that he hoped his explanation would help the church to move forward. Paul furthermore wrote with hopes that they would be changed by the time he came to visit them and that he feared that they would not repent. Fifth point, Paul warned the Corinthians church that if they did not change their attitude and thinking before he visited them, for the third time, they would not be able to avoid their punishment. Paul declared that if the Corinthians church did not repent, by the time he came to visit them, they would not be able to avoid punishment. Paul advised them not to become a target of punishment. Paul stated his plans to visit them and then gave them their final warning. This was that they would not be forgiven if they continued on with their adulterous behavior. He truly wished that they would turn from their old ways and strengthen their faith. Paul then concluded his second letter. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.